Nash, okay. she's all yours. <laughs> Do it. Everything's alright. <laughs> As you know, I'm Maggie's brother. Whenever Maggie comes to me, she's like, I'll beat you up, man. I met her first on May 11th, 1990. My dad took us to see this beautiful angel that was born that day. She opened her eyes, with big, brown, beautiful eyes. But she still looks at me today. I'm gonna beat you up. When we're all alone, keep it up, girl. Yeah, you turn me on. Ah, hooked on a feeling. Thank you, my son. You have done us proud. Not only you can do with me. Professionally, but you have got a drill in our crowd. Welcome home, Maggie. Welcome. And welcome the Severa family. Everybody, let's share it for the Severa and Maggie. Maggie, as a human being, has developed into this amazing person. She's caring, she's loving, she goes out of her way to help people, just like Auntie Francina said. Right from the time she was a kid, when she went to school, when she went to college, through her career and work, she's made friends. And those friends have remained close. She's been a blessing to our Silvera family. I know you said yesterday, thinking, you're never going to be the baby of the family again. Will always be our little princess, my baby sister. And because of all our friends gathered here today, who have come from near and far, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, different parts of India, Dubai, to be with you today, it's because you're blessed to have this family. And along with that blessing, you have a new member, Nash. You're an amazing person. Truly, you're my brother. What you've done for my parents, when my dad was sick a year and a half ago, and when my mom was sick last year, is what their own kids would do for them. I really appreciate that. And I welcome you to this part of the family. You're one of the most nicest human beings. You come from a beautiful family. I gotta thank your mom and dad for the way they brought you up. You have an excellent upbringing. Thank you, Auntie and Uncle. Nash, I spoke to you first about a year and a half ago. No one has ever had the guts to come and speak to me about my sister. And from that moment on, I'm like, all right, my sister, my sister has made good choices in life. And this is a good choice she's made. This day, it has been started on the 13th of February last year. And it's been almost a year where we went through 33 venues, 18 photographers, about 7 decorators and tasted food from about 5 caterers. So we've done a tremendous amount of work to make sure that this day is exactly what Maggie planned when she was maybe in school. And she has a book that she had written, how many bridesmaids she wanted and, and what would be the theme for the wedding and it's apparently rose gold. 
we really managed to get it to that point. Was wrapped up in on clover. weeks leading to the wedding, Maggie on random occasions would come and ask me, Nash, why would you like to get married to me? And I would never have a definite answer. But I can give it a shot right now. Tremendous courage that you have, and from the huge loads of creativity that you have inside of you, and from the power that you have to calm me down if I'm going through a stressful time. And she says, Nash, or if I'm stuck in traffic and she touches my neck and the world just comes to a stop. Apart from all of these things, I think. The reason I would want to be with you for the rest of my life is because you are my discovery channel. And I would never want that to change. And hopefully, I can be your animal planet. Oh, my God.